KTAR, Eyes on Parenting. Kids these days, am I doing enough? Am I doing too much? This is KTAR's Eyes on Parenting. I'm Corbin Carson. Today I'm joined by Travis Brown, former NFL quarterback, several different teams. We, we don't need to talk about that, but currently pastor in CCV in, in Scottsdale. And we're talking about, it's Father's Day. Yay us! Yep. And uh, uh, we're getting a lot of stuff this weekend. We should be, be being taken care of this weekend. But it is important to remember what we should be doing as dad. What is our, what is our role as a father? Well, there's a lot of different roles as a father, right? I mean, uh, most oftentimes people think of the provider. You know, the dad is, a, is put in that spot as the provider. But, you know, we always... We always say that the dad is the example. Um, the dad is the one setting the example, whether it's for the boys or for the girls. And 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 who is that setting the example as that real man? What is it? What does a man look like? And like it or not, I always tell dads this: like it or not, you're a leader. People are going to follow you. And so you can either lead people to a, a really negative direction, and they can have that experience as their dad, or you can lead them in a really positive direction. So, so man. Providing is part of it, um, support is part of it, but being the example of what a real man should be, and you can go through the gauntlet of that. Character and honesty and, and hard work and, and discipline, uh, but love. And so there's, there's, a, there's a wide range of, of what that looks like. I know you've uh, you've done some uh, speaking with other projects we have here at KTAR as far as daughters. Uh, we, you have two, two daughters. I have two daughters. Um, one of the things that resonates with me is you have a series on connecting with daughters. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. You know, as, as dads, um, I know so many dads that have a hard time connecting with daughters, particularly teenage girls, right? I mean, um, Teenage girls are hard to understand by anybody in the world, let alone a, a male dad. Including themselves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so, so we have to be very intentional with connecting with our daughters. And some dads connect very easily with some of their daughters because they have similar interests. And so their, their daughters will, will be interested in what dad is into. And it's easier to connect with those girls. But there's other daughters, and I'm an example of this. There's two, I have two different girls. Um, that they don't have the same interest in you. So you have to be very intentional of how you're connecting with them. And what I, what I always tell guys is you have to invade their space. They, they might not want you to, they're not asking you to, but you have to invade their space. And what that means is it could mean literal space. It could mean their interests. You might have to take an interest in what they're interested in. Um, you might have to listen to some music that, that you might not like. You might, <laughs> you might have to, to go some places that, that um, you might not normally go to. But if that's a way for you to connect with your daughter and build a bridge, then you got to do that. And, and the other thing that's part of that is dating your daughters. You, you know, set that consistent date. I always say that with guys in their marriage, but it's also true with their daughters. Um, set the example for their daughters to show them what a real man looks like out on a date. How should they be treated? Um, that's what they're going to take with them when they actually start dating, as scary as that is. Cool. And then so last uh, last question I wanted to talk to you about was, um, you know, I always think of the, the role of a father as a very thankless job. It's, it's, it's something that, you know, uh, I, I, I was I was watching Chris Rock. I went and saw him a, a short bit ago and he mentioned that there's only one group of, of people that, you know, between women and small children that are loved unconditionally and men are only loved as, as long as they're providing something. Kind of talk about that, and I know that's not funny, but um, <laughs> kind of talk about uh, like how, how fathers can, can survive that. It's, it's such a huge role, right? Yeah, it is, and, and it can be a thankless job, and, and probably everybody can say that a little bit, but um, I, what helps me in that is having a long-term perspective. Um, you know, when you think 10, 20, 30, 50 years from now, what kind of, what kind of impact do you want to make? And so if your reward that you're looking for is in the here and now and the today, then you are going to be like, man, this is a thankless job and I need to go other places to be to be rewarded and be be celebrated. But if you have that long term perspective and say, what kind of what kind of man do I want to be when I'm when I'm 70 and when I'm 75? And I always tell guys this. Nobody's ever regretted faithfulness. Nobody ever looked back and said, man, I'm. I am so, I, I, I regret being faithful in my job or faithful to my wife or I regret being faithful to my kids. But nobody ever regretted that. 
And so you have to have a long-term perspective and, and say, man, my reward might not be today. I'm not going to get thanked. I'm not going to get celebrated. Might not, but but that doesn't change your responsibilities. It doesn't change um, who you are as a man, and it doesn't change your impact that you're going to have. So. To get out of that, do, do we wish we were celebrated more? Everybody does, right? right. Everybody does. <laughs> but, but we have to have a long-term perspective and know that our reward is not is not today. Our reward our reward is way down the road when, and when our kids are parents and they look back and say, "I want to be like my dad. Oh, I want to raise I want to raise men like my dad." That is what we all want. True indeed. Well, there you have it, folks. This has been KTAR's Eyes on Parenting. I'm Corbin Carson, father of four, one in college, one just graduating high school, one in kindergarten, and one just out of diapers. Chances are I'm facing a question you're facing. If so, hit me up on Twitter. Maybe we can help you out. I'd like to thank Travis uh, Travis Brown for joining us. We'll see you next time, folks.